Yo, man, what's going on with y'all, man? We finally got to hear from the GOAT himself, that nigga NBA Youngboy, man. Now, he was on he was on Clubhouse a few seconds ago with Act. They was doing an uh, interview, and he was talking about how he lost his love for music. And he wanted, he wanted to quit for a year and a half now. But we already know that's not finna happen. You're not finna quit, my nigga. Y'all nigga don't, y'all don't believe that. But, um, yeah, he got a mistake with Birdman coming out this weekend, sometime this weekend. And, yeah, he took all his videos down from YouTube. I guess it was because YouTube was doing the wrong way to album drop. But, yeah, we finna get to his video with, um, him and Academics. They was on Clubhouse. Let's get it. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Yeah. We got people, we got people that's living, but, but disabled right now. They, they, you know, I can't, that's, that's stupid, bro. Yeah, I mean, how often do you reflect on like you know losing, a, you know, a lot of you know your close friends and people who've been rocking with you from like day one? Because I can hear, I can hear the pain kind of in your voice that like you probably you still dealing with it currently. Man, you you you've been with me since day one, and you kept it gutter shit. I got you to the last day, and it's strictly like that. You you day one, I got you to the last day. I know a lot of your fans in here that they, they, you know, I think they hear your music and they feel with a lot of pain. I remember telling you that too, man. Like, that's what, that's one of the reasons you got so many fans. It's so real. It's so uncut. But I think even, you know, because they enjoy your music so much when they hear hear that, like, you know, you're going through real shit that yeah, the music is a, is a representation of, but it's not it's not the cure to the, to the issues. Like, they're wondering, like, yo, how could the fans or anybody else, you know, you know, sometimes try to help you? Because I think they feel powerless a little bit too, you know. Mm, no, shit, the pain real. It's real. The the pushing real. This shit, this shit ain't nothing to play with, Charlie. Do, do you do you consider like you know? Do you feel like you, you have to do fans uh, do music for your fans at this point? No, but shit, me doing music, that's what that would that would take. I got my it's people around me who 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 so who live off my music. It's got people who who get paid from this shit, like from my merch, from from just me dropping a song, like. Man, that's how half of my people pay their bills, man. That's how they take care of their kids. So, have, like, part of this shit, I do it for them. I don't just want to stop because then that means shit stop. That might send them back to the streets. Man, it's, it's weird shit. It ain't all for myself, though. Yeah. Nah, I feel you, man. I, listen, man. Yo, if, 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 if it's not for anything, man, it's like... From the very first time, you know, we had a conversation to, you know, conversations, you know, during, like, I, I've, see, I've seen growth in you, though, you know, and I, I see how you start a certain situation differently, you know, and, and whether that growth was from zero to five or zero to 50, you know, I mean, it's still growth. So, you know, like, I'm always proud of you for that. Nah, for sure, though. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on a lot of shit no more, X, bro. I don't, my, I ain't on a lot of shit no more, bro. I don't even, I really don't even want no problem, you hear me? You don't like me, you don't, it's cool, you, man, long as, long as a nigga, long as a I ain't, nigga ain't trying to harm me, bro, I ain't, I don't really give a fuck, bro. And as far as, say, if I wasn't no house arrest or something, as far as just, like, being in a certain environment and just saying shit, I ain't fucked up about nothing that go down. We gonna handle it how it even, you know, it gonna, we gonna handle it how it go. I ain't even on that no more, shit. I ain't even trying to put myself in a in a situation or in an environment to where I got to defend myself or, or take my lick or none of that shit, man. I, shit, it's, it's just book of shit. Like, it's pointless. Nigga ain't got to do that shit no more. That shit, it's, it's stupid. Yeah, nah, I get that. I get that. Yo, I'm, I'm I'm gonna try to ask some music questions because everybody's killing me. They it's ask about music, 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 music. Yeah, yo, yo, I I never. You probably answered this already because there's people up on stage. 
what is your favorite project out of everything you ever dropped? <laughs> Man, I don't really be having no favorite. All that shit come from my heart and my mind, bro. So whatever, I, whatever I speak, whatever I say, like that's what it is with me. I ain't, if I if I had to choose, though, I'd say Thirty Baby Two. That's my favorite project. Mm, over top. Shit, shit. I ain't mean, lying. Hey, third, hey, top ain't fucking with that, hey, baby, too. Nah. Yo, so like songs like, like songs like Lonely Child, like like what type of mind state you in with songs like that, bro? Because like, man, I, I've I've sat in the dark room listening to that song 20, 30 times in a row, and I know there's something there that just can't be repl- replicated by just saying it. Like, like, where are you mentally when that song is made? Shit. Inside my heart. Inside my heart, shit. I just go off the vibe. I go off the feeling. Whatever type of beat, beat it is, that's what I'm going to go off. Man. I don't know. I, just, I was sitting there with her and shit. And I, I was just going. You know, I don't drink, I don't drink a lick of egg. I don't drink liquor. That bitch, that bitch Bobo had made me. That bitch had made me. That bitch had made me. You thought that hit? First yeah, night on yeah. the Hennessy, he made hits. Yeah, let me say. Yo, I tell you about that Henny, man. I told you, man. I don't drink. You know, I ain't never been drunk in my life. Still to this day, though. Oh, man. Nah, shit. But 38, maybe two. Nah, yeah. I mean, I, why would you pick that, though? Because I, from from a okay from a music perspective and a critic perspective, the reason why I would say top is that I'm gonna say, you know, some of the most you know prolific and some of the, you know, I won't say the biggest hits, but you had hella hits on there. You know what I mean? So if I'm judging from that perspective, I'm gonna say that. But why would you say Thirty Eight Baby too? I don't know from the way I spoke from Thirty Eight Baby Two from... had just as many hits. They're just the whole world was behind. More people were paying attention during top. Mm. Like on the stats, Thirty Eight Baby Two has yeah. been more consistent on streaming upward on his catalog than than his other stuff. So Thirty Eight Baby Two is like when people hear it, they catch on to it. I just think oh, people were behind. That's like the sleeper that everybody go back back to kind of. Yeah, in a way. And, and when I made it, and when I made it, eight, I was at a better. I was at a better point inside my life too, so I guess it was just that shit was lit. I'm not gonna lie. Me, yeah, it was just me living. It was, it was me, me just, you know, it was, it was a, it was an okay time inside my life. Then I recorded half of that shit sitting, sitting at a house in Malibu with the, with the beach right down my, you know, with, with the, with the water right down my window. So, you know. I remember when I remember when you flew to Philly and we linked up and and we we sat and talked for damn near three plus hours, and I remember when we were riding around Philly, right? The song you were previewing, I think you dropped it like the next day. It, it was AI Nash. That, that, that's the joint you had previewed, and I remember I was like, "This shit fucking fire." It's on the table. Well, yeah. I gotta find a different way to get rich, though. Act man, music ain't it, bro. Thank you. Well, if if music ain't it, if, what are the passions you got in life, man? I know video it can't games. Be, it can't be no two no K. Video game. That's how you coming at it. <laughs> That's all we do. Besides music, it's video games. Nah, hey know. Um, I like riding dirt bikes. Um, hiking, my favorite sport. Uh, what's know. your favorite sport? Hockey. Yeah, Dallas Stars, my favorite team. Stop it! You don't watch on hockey. I would imagine you watch like football, rugby. Mm mm. Hockey. I like hockey. You know, hockey the only sport that really lets you get your like thirty fight. seconds. Yeah, they'll let you fight. They'll really, they'll really sit there and let you get your little thing 20 seconds in. <laughs> Yo, for all that, you might as well just watch MMA and boxing. 
Nah. Nah, I like I like I like I like UFC. I like UFC better than boxing. Why? Shit, because it's real. They're trying to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, these niggas try to punch in the head out their shoulders on that bitch, man. Shit. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie, but boxing kind of going out of style. The only thing keeping boxing kind of in the game is it's like this little celebrity boxing. Boxing, bullshit. Boxing. Man, you got it. Man, that shit. You got to wait months and months for a fight to go on. Like, it ain't no active sport to me. Like, it come around, like, what, certain times of the year, probably, with five good fights a year, some shit like that. Or, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, you still only play like 2K or like you play Madden and shit now? What you doing? I know you don't play no hockey video game. Man, I play San Andreas and boxing. San Andreas and boxing? Yeah, fight night. Who your favorite boxer? Uh, My favorite boxer is Roy Jones. But oh, on really? the game, yeah, on the game, I be fighting Pacquiao. <laughs> I just got my ass whooped. <laughs> I just got <laughs> Nick. I say, Alex Nick sitting on your lap, and Nick watching nigga knock me out on that bitch. Damn, <laughs> don't got like the newer boxes on there, like Tank or nothing like that. No. See, my my favorite fighter definitely gotta be Mike Tyson. Usually people fuck with Mike. No, nah, I say Mike probably my second. I don't know, bro. I like Mike. That's probably my second or third. I, I I see some like you know like just similarities and just like how like the public view Mike Tyson and like how the public view you versus how when people got to know you just like he was he was also misunderstood you know it's like more than just his skills in a boxing ring I always just fuck with the fact that you know what I mean like he was just kind of going through life on his own path and like he just wasn't willing to you know what I mean be programmed like everybody else so. That's why I was kind of like interested in watching him just dominate that shit. He was knocking out everybody. I, I don't know. When I see something dealing with Mike Tyson, it looked like I don't know. It looked like he's shaking back, like he's getting in a better, a better space inside life. But I don't know. That nigga, that's that nigga, that fucked up. Man. That nigga, that nigga fucked up. Man. That nigga, that used to. Uh, that nigga crazy. Shit, that nigga, that nigga been through. Some... Yeah, he been he been through some shit, but now like when I see shit dealing with him, it looked like he. You know, he's doing fine, doing well. Did you do any reading while you were locked up? Like, other than letters and shit like that, that probably came up. Yeah. Like, like any books in particular? Yeah. I just got a new book about a week. I got two new books like a week ago. What book? Um, The Kitchen and the Rye. Uh... And it's another one. It's a hit. It's an Adolf Hitler book. I, I, I forgot the name. What's the name of that, Nick? I got it on side of my bed. I don't know. Oh, hmm? Biography? I don't know. But yeah, man, I, I, I was reading. Do you even keep up with current shit? Like, like you know, whether you uh, like whether you locked up or like whether you like you know now free. Do you keep up with like what's going on in the world? Like the world of entertainment, I'm talking about, not like you know just like what's in the news, just like what's going on in the media. No, nah, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Half of that shit lies in us. I care about going home, man. Why did you pick Utah? Man, I've been coming here since I was a baby, man. You know, this what this what my this what my grandma lived. This what my this what my this what my godmama. It like, you know, this what my other my other side of my family. Is. Like, boy, a lot of people don't know. Like, why my grandma white? Shout my mama, my mama white. Like, you know, my uncle, my cousins white. Like. This the family, like this the side of the family who is who is there for me for you know and for for a moment in my life as I was younger. I mean I've been coming here. Mm. 
How different is it from like you no know, Baton Rouge? Yeah, it's way different. But fuck why I'm out here though. Just know a nigga been out bring their ass out here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, yo, did you see, uh, yo, you got your first Grammy nomination, man. Congratulations. I don't, I don't know. I know somebody in Tea Party. <laughs> that shit, hey, they ain't gonna give me that shit, man. Nah, you won't get it. Nah, you won't get this one. You said the Grammy? Yeah. They're gonna give it to him because Tyler on it, but they're still hating. Yeah, Tyler on it. They, they gotta give it to you. Shit, no, man. Hey, I, in my heart, in my, in my, in my heart, I don't believe that bitch gonna come this way. But I don't know. That bitch probably, if I ain't mistaken, who they had, they had. Who the other people was for that? They had the baby, the weekend, and I think Doja, Doja Cat. Yeah. You know why the weekend? Yeah, yeah I, I, think, I think. Because the weekend's been like bitch, number one at radio for like a yeah, year. I don't know how long he's been number one, but I think they're going to get the, the, to the weekend or, or Doja Cat. I don't I even focus on that shit. I ain't even let that shit get me excited in no type of way. You ain't finna. The, you ain't trying to decide if I'm no winner or no loser, man. It's don't fuck that shit. I ain't, I ain't even focused on that, man. I, I know you don't want to want to think about it, but but if if, if you want it, would it mean something to you? Um, um, man, I don't want to say no. I don't want to say yeah. Shit, it's 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 cool. It's some it's some for my. I don't know. My grandma like it. Yeah. Hey, to be honest, I really don't know how big or how small. I don't know what it means to even to even get one. So I don't, you know, I ain't really big on no. I ain't big on no shit like that. Hey, yo, you remember when? Uh, you remember when we did that day? In the car and city, remember, remember, I said to you, and, and I want to see if the answer changed. I said to you, I said, I said, you know, you're a superstar. I think you use that little clip for something. No, and, and you said, I ain't you no said, superstar. Ain't no, 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 I'm yeah. still on that same shit, nigga. I ain't even tripping. You're a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not nah. asking you. I'm just telling you the truth right now. You, you, you man, want the top man, five I, I, artists? I ain't not. I ain't going for it. I ain't trying to hear. I'm the top nigga. I'm slap me though. I'm AI. I'm, I'm young boy. I'm control. I ain't none of that extra shit. And you're a superstar too. It's fun. You the superstar. Nah, yo, yo, hey, let me tell you. This. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I don't even. You probably don't know because you're not on social media. You know your fans terrorize every artist. They, shit, like, I'll, 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 whoever whoever they terrify, and I don't fuck with them shit. So fuck them. Let them terrify their ass. Yo, on the anything on Twitter that any artist posts, they, it's just why be better, why be better, why be better, why be does this better, why be why be why be why. Nigga, if that don't make it, I'm telling you, you probably other than like Nicki Minaj or something like that, you probably got the best fan base. No, I think I think Tyler or Uzi got the biggest fan base. Uh, Ours is just aggressive. Uh, There's Hank. Yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, the the the, the craziest thing is I don't I don't think you even tell him to do that shit. Like it could this. be two three people, but they're gonna spam the shit and annoy you, and then he's gonna feel like it's a hundred people. I'm gonna be honest though. I think that's the reason why he's a superstar. You know why? Because. When he was getting slighted, his fans made made sure they couldn't leave him out of the conversation. Because I, I remember when they was trying to blackball him. But they can't yeah. blackball you if your fans constantly are saying, we don't give a fuck about all these other niggas. What about young boy? And honestly, mm. I think that's exactly why. Like, nigga, I mean, I know I know you you only want to have an opinion on it, but man, you're not the you're not the person they want to nominate for Grammys. You're not the person they want to have on certain some of these lists. I I know they ain't so that's you know, why any, any, anything they, they that's because they can't make money. They out. <laughs> anything they throw out there in their edge, big man, I'm not paying attention to it. I ain't I don't give a fuck, X. Man, shit. I, yo, I can't wait for.